We got Bowie who's driving us all insane. I lost 12 pounds. Last year, this time, I was 250 pounds. And this year, I'm 238. I did hit 220, but that was a COVID thing. So next year, I hope to lose another 20 pounds. This isn't a New Year's resolution. I don't do that. I don't need to make resolutions. I mean, I need to make, I set myself goals. Every month, I want to lose one pound. It's not much. It's, it's very doable. Actually, last week, I lost three pounds. All I did was cut out one meal and exercise an extra hour. It's tough. It's, if you want to lose weight, you've got to be dedicated. You need to eat healthy, stay away from the sugars, and you have to work out. You have to exercise. You have to burn more calories than you take in. It's simple math. 2022, the final episode. Oh, what a great year. Ah, you know what? I only had seven episodes. Who really gives a shizen? I, I do this. I do, my, I do all this for myself. I don't do it for anybody else. Somewhat, yeah, I entertain some people. But really, I do this for myself to keep me motivated to watch the Montreal Canadiens. It, it, it's, it's, they're a tough team to watch. I predicted, and I, I'm going to use the word I a lot today, today, and I don't mean to. I don't mean to sound arrogant or conceited. But I did warn the entire fan base what was going to happen this year. Oh, no, 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 no. They couldn't be that bad, Shane. They couldn't be that bad. They're, they're going to make the, they're going to be close to making the playoffs. I don't know if the Twitter world actually speaks like that, that high tone pitch. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. But anyway, you were warned. I, I have warned you. You cannot go into a season with this many holes to fill. You cannot go into an NHL season with all these rookies on defense and your top line being Nick Suzuki, Cole Caulfield, and Kirby Doc, which was just a fluke that he works out there. Now we don't even know what's going to happen next year for a number two center. But you cannot go into a season with one line. And I shouldn't have said it like, like I have, like I did. Because it made it, made it, I made it sound like Suzuki and Caulfield aren't a good pairing. And they are. They're a, good, they're a good tandem for a, a number one line. But we need more. We need more than a number one center who can produce the way he, Nick's producing. We need, we need that elite guy. And you all see him. You all know who I'm talking about. You all, you're watching him right now at the World Juniors. Oh, we got to get Bernard. We got to get Bernard. He plays two positions, so... If you did land Bedard, he could be your number one center, and Nick would be the ideal number two. But we can't, we can't plan for Bedard because while the Montreal Canadiens are very bad, there's still three other teams that are worse, Columbus, the Hawks, and the Ducks. Right now, as it stands, oh, right now as it stands... January, we have one more game left in December. Probably going to lose it to the Capitals, but you never know. We might fluke a win where Jake Allen steals a, steals a win, maybe. Maybe Nick and Cole combine for eight points, like McDavid did with his crew last night. But in January, like I've been saying all season, oh, there's going to be pain, there's going to be pain. I was, I was mimicking... The Toronto Maple Leafs, when they told their fan base there's going to be pain, there will be pain. There will be pain. People think it's bad right now. It's going to be very bad in January. So bad that I may have to, I may, I may just break down and cry. That's how bad it's going to be in January. No, I'm not going to break down and cry. I don't do that anymore. I'm much better. Oh, I'm squirreling. Whoa. I love this jersey. Oh, it looks so sweet. Anyway, January, there's, there will be pain? Yeah, there's going to be pain. January is going to be the most painful month in two seasons. That's how bad it's going to be. We have 17 games, and 15 of those games are against 
Playoff teams and contenders. I call them contenders and pretenders because the contenders are actual teams in the playoff running who are going to make the playoffs and compete for the cup. And then there's the pretenders who the team, the Florida Panthers and the Pittsburgh Penguins right now and other teams that are going to compete to try and make the playoffs. They're pretenders. The Florida Panthers right now. They're Pretenders. They, they kicked the living crap out of Montreal a couple nights ago. But they're pretenders. They're not going to make the playoffs. And we're going to end up with their pick. And then come the 2023 draft, we're going to get two high-end players. Well, we hope we get two high-end players. I thought we were going to get a high-end player last year. And turns out he's just a normal player. He's, maybe in three years he'll be high-end. But we're not going to go in on boat. We're not going to talk about Slavkovsky right now. Because there's nothing wrong with Slav. He's... Playing the game in the NHL, 18 years old, pretty impressive. I'm scrolling away. Getting back to January. 15 to 17 games, so there's going to be pain in January. Those two, the two teams we do play are the Ottawa Senators. These, in my opinion, are must-win games. We cannot lose to the Senators. Losing to the Senators in the 21st century is similar to losing to the Boston Bruins. It, it, it hurts. It sucks. You, you want to throw up every time you lose to these guys. Because for some reason, their fan base thinks they are contenders. And they're not. They're pretenders. They're pretenders. They're going to work their butts off. And they're just going to barely either get in. Or they're going to sit at that, what, 20th spot or whatever? No. Not 20th. 17th. They're going to finish 17. And then they'll look back and say, oh, if only if we had Josh Norris. Oh, okay, I'm scrolling away. I'm scrolling away. This Montreal Canadiens team has 46 games remaining. And it's going to be the worst three months. Worse than last year. Because last year, it just sucked. It, it, but by December, we were, or actually for me, no, by November, I was already done watching them. I, I watched them, but it was just a formality. But this year... We're watching them because we want to know what's going to happen. We want to know how much worse they can be. They're competing right now with the Philadelphia Flyers, the Arizona, Arizona Coyotes, the Yotes, the San Jose Sharks. Four teams, Montreal, San Jose, Philadelphia, and Arizona. Four teams that are going to rank between fourth overall to draft and seventh. Lottery pending, of course. Who knows with the lottery what, what happens. They could move up, they could move down. But that's what I see after these next three months. There is going to be pain. And between 4th and 7th at the draft, that pain will be worth it. So don't look down. Don't be sad. Don't be upset when you're watching this team play. Remember, there's a lot of vets on this team right now. They've been through this before. They've been through rebuilding. They've been through teams... Where they're like looking around the room and like, oh, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. And sometimes they just play like that. They, they just don't care. Actually, I'm, like, I'm going to go skating in an hour and shoot some pucks. Nobody's going to be on the outdoor rinks right now. And the lights should be coming on shortly. Yes, it's 6 in the morning or we're, maybe it's 7. I don't know what time. But I have a phone right here. Oh, 25 to 7. For you uh, kids, that's uh, 0635. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, let's go into the rant of the day. The rant of the day is Pernard got hit from behind last night. And again, the internet explodes. All these fans, all these fans go on, Oh my God, what a dirty hit. Ah, oh, that's disgusting. That player should be banned for life. Blah, blah. People, 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 before you lose your grapes over a, a hockey play, Break down what happened. The puck was on the boards. Pernard turned towards the puck. Another guy's coming at him. He's hoping to line him up so when he touches the puck, he can lay him out. And then Pernard's right foot catches an edge. And he goes down on one knee. And he goes down low. And then the other player rides him in from behind and nails him into the boards. It looks bad in real time. It looks horrible. It looks like the guy who nailed him, who is apparently has a history of this, but it looks like he did it on purpose. And I can tell you right now, more often than not, it's a hockey play. It, it's a 
it's a play gone wrong. And I don't see him getting any more games because it's not his fault that Pernard caught a rut. So you, you fans out there who have thousands of followers, remember this, you're an influencer. So whatever you say dictates, 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 dictates Twitter. And then fans like me who've been in that situation more than once, me probably four or five times, everyone, cut, everyone who's ever played this game has caught a rut and went into the boards. I'm telling you that right now. And if you didn't, well, then you're the most special player on the planet. But that's all that was. So all you Twitter guys who are hiding behind accounts and then coming on to me, oh, you're c blaming the victim. I'm not blaming the victim. I'm explaining the play. I'm gonna, you know what? I, I'm all fired up. I've been up since 1 a.m. I am going to pack my, my gear up. And I'm going to go skating. I'm going to go shoot some pucks. I'm going to take all my sticks because I'm going to do the uh, stick comparison. Let's burn, let's end this on an extremely high note. Nick Suzuki, Cole Caulfield, Kirby Doc, Uri Slavkowski. And then we got Harris, Gooley, and one of the greatest Montreal Canadiens defensemen ever found outside of the draft, Arbor Jacka. That's what we, that's what you need to look at. That's how, that's how great 2022 was. Other than it sucked outside of what I said earlier. We have a great core and I know you've heard that before. The core, the core, oh, Pax Reddy, Subban, Gallagher, yeah, 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 Galchenyuk, oh, the core, oh my God, I'm going to throw up. I really am. That, that's, I, I even want to talk about 10 years ago. The core. The core. But I want more talent. I want the Florida Panthers pick and I want the Montreal pick to be both playing in the NHL in the very near future. I want them to be highly offensive because I want two more offensive wingers. I want one puck moving defenseman and maybe they should think about drafting a goalie because those two kids, I call them the double D's because I can't pronounce their names. That kid in Ohio is pretty good and that kid in Slovakia, Czechs, Czechia, Actually, draft that kid, that 19-year-old kid from Team Chechia. Yeah, that's what we should do. That's it. I'm going to go shoot some pucks. Well, as soon as the sun comes up, another hour. I'll see you later. Go Habs, go. We're done. Shut it off. Was my hair like this the whole time? Oh, that's terrible. You listen here and you listen good. Habs fans, the next time I see you on Twitter, you better be here cheering, go Habs, go. Because if you see this face on Twitter and he's not happy with you, you're going to hear about it. It's called taking it to the trolls. Go Habs, go. <laughs>